Dynasty this or that, tight ends. Hunter Henry or Darren Waller. Oh, man. Goo goo get you. So, um, this just reminds me of goo goo clusters. Uh, Darren, Should we uh, take a break? Yeah, let's take a break. <laughs> can we take a little? Honestly, if two of you talk, uh, two of us talk, the other can eat the goo goo cluster. You guys, hashtag carry on. not a sponsor, by the way. Just yet delicious goo goo. Yeah, come reach, on, man. Reach out. You don't think we want a goo goo themed segment on this show? Yeah, where we just talk about Darren Waller. <laughs> goo 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 clusters. <laughs> We're willing to make the t- <laughs> no. Uh, listen, Waller is twenty-seven. H- Henry is twenty-five, but has a bit of the Leonard Fournette, you <laughs> yeah. know, oh, feeling yeah. about him. I don't worry about either of the ages because w- when it comes to tight ends, a good quality tight end he can play into his mid thirties just fine. So twenty-seven, he's two years older than Hunter Henry, but I, I don't think the age should be the deal breaker here. I'm I'm Walrus here. I'm going, I'm going Darren All Waller right. it, pretty firmly because when I'm looking at tight end and predictability and the, the onslaught that we have every year of, you know, not knowing who's going to be there, be stable. Look, is is Darren Waller going to be what he was through the first three weeks of the season every week? I don't think that's the future. But here's what I know. He got paid money. He's hyper-athletic and involved in the passing game. And his head coach is going to be there for a while. That's and true. And knows how to use him. And he's, the, and he's a huge fan of him. So – do I know Anthony Lynn's going to be the Chargers coach? I would almost bet money he won't be after next year. Is Hunter Henry going to be a Charger next year? Exactly. And then, you know, even the Rivers situation. Maybe he is a Charger, but Rivers turns over. And, yes, Derek Carr could go goodbye right now, too. But I see a little bit more stability on what I've seen from Waller. He was healthy for the duration of the season. We had another season of Hunter Henry being hurt to begin it after missing a season. Uh, I am, you know, and then Waller puts up 90 receptions. I'm, I'm in on Waller's. Yeah, I, this was a pretty easy Hunter Henry for me at first because he, he's been, you know, more productive career-wise, per game-wise. Um, you have the issues with Darren Waller of he was really successful for fantasy when he was the guy. But as soon as any other wide receiver emerged, you, you know, uh, then all of a sudden his targets evaporated, and I think they're going to bring someone else in. But you make a really good point, Andy, in that, you know, Gruden wants an offense. He said this. His offense runs through the tight end position. And you see that because it's not just the Walrus. Yeah, you have uh, you, Justin Moreau. Yeah. Um, you know, and so I do like the the known commodity of Waller going forward. I think the ceiling is higher on Henry. And I, would, I, I, I think I would lean Henry here because wherever he is, he's going to be paid to be a passing weapon. Um, but it's it's close, and there's less risk with Waller. Other than you do have to factor in the risk of you know he's been a repeat offender before for uh, substance abuse, and and we've you know you have to factor that in when looking at the dynasty outlooks of if something happens again, right. it's going to be a long term suspension. Yeah, I, I I like Waller Henry thus far in his four year NFL career. He's played in sixty four percent of possible games. Um. It's close, Mike. Do you do you side on the age? I, you know, you get a couple years age, with Henry. The age and the ceiling, like the the things that Hunter Henry. Do you really think his ceiling is higher than Waller's? I do. I so uh, so give me that season then, because I mean, obviously Waller went out. Waller went out and put up last year ninety for over eleven hundred. Right. And three, if anything, I would say Waller underwhelmed touchdown wise for a big guy that could go up in that department. He he certainly three did touchdowns. But I don't. Uh, it just doesn't seem like that high-end touchdown season is, is a, in the range of outcomes to me for Darren Waller. Like, he's a PPR guy, uh, and it, shockingly, like when I would watch him, he doesn't play big, and for a guy who's as fast as he is, he gets caught. But do you really want – don't you want the PPR now nowadays in the tight end position where, you know, if Henry doesn't get into the end zone – he had a couple of weeks at the end of the year that we projected great games for right. him. He ends up outside the top 40 because he doesn't get in the end zone, where Waller, he never had a week all year out outside the, what, 22. Yeah. I mean, and I, we I, ten, I'm just saying philosophically, I wonder sure. what I'm looking at anymore. Am I just looking to get the Gronk in? Like, Henry's more like what Gronk would be, right? The and potential that's what of a 10, 11, 12 touchdowns. The 
Hunter Henry next year could have double digit touchdowns. I think he's had horrifically bad luck with his health. That's that is a big red flag because I mean it's it's been many many years now of of Hunter Henry's body just seems like it it doesn't want to play in the NFL. But when he has been on the field, he has been electric doing things that very few tight ends have ever done at that age. So I'll still go in on hearing Hunter. hearing all these different sides of these two players. I, I think Andy has swayed me. I think I am on the Darren Waller side. I think the consistency with targets fundamentally right now, if you're in any kind of half point or full point PPR league, I think is what I'm looking for at my tight end position. I just want it to be safer, be just safe, plug it. You know, it's like, it's a stop gap. And then put all of my great resources into, I'm, which is wild because I bet you, if you have Hunter Henry right now, I bet you could go flip him for Darren Waller plus. Great, really? I think you could in a, in a, dynasty, in a, in a dynasty league. Sell yeah. the sell the youth. Yeah, if 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 you are on the Darren Waller side, I think you could make get that happening. It's interesting. Waller was kind of, uh, I think, scaring people towards the end, and then ended on a pretty strong note. It'd be it'd be tough. I wouldn't trade him. If you want more of that, click down there, see the whole episode, click over there, subscribe to the show. We're here all year round. Do not miss it.